this time for a little lights camera. McCarthy. Yes. Hey, Hello. Hello. Great to be here this morning with y'all. All right, there's a brand new series hitting Apple TV Plus on Wednesday called High Desert. Uh, it stars Matt Dillon and Patricia Arquette. Mm -hmm. uh, Patricia Arquette's one of my favorite actresses because I loved her in True Romance, but both of them starred in films growing up that I saw before I should have seen them at the age that I was not appropriate, like Wild Things for Matt Dillon or uh, True Romance or Lost Highway for her. Or there's something about Mary for Matt Dillon. So <laughs> while this interview is airing, I want to have people to send us in some of their movies they saw when they were younger that they were that they saw before they were age appropriate uh, because they're going to answer that same question here in the interview but the show deals with uh, essentially Patricia Arquette's character is an on again off again addict who decides to take on the life of a private investigator uh, and the show kind of details her and dealing with that and kind of the things that she runs into and the drama and the hilarity that ensues the first three episodes drop this Wednesday all right on Apple TV plus and I had the chance to talk to Matt Dillon and Patricia Arquette all about it and let us know movies you saw when you were too young take a look I also love the idea that this show tackles this idea of overstimulation and addiction and I feel like we're overstimulated nowadays for sure and there's that great moment Patricia where you go in the car you know listening to Wagner and you kind of calm down and I was wondering for each of you is there something like that in your own lives that you can step away to a song that you put on that puts you in a relaxed state when you're feeling overwhelmed Oh yeah, yeah. For me, I yeah, music always. Um, I think, but the the thing that you just said about the show, uh, there's a lot of that that I could relate to about this overstimulation because I always have to remind myself to just sit and yeah. be and don't, you know, just. And, and these characters, what's good about them is they're energized, they're motivated, even if they're making <laughs> bonehead decisions, you know, along the way, you know. <laughs> But they're not following news. They're not doing any of that. I get freaked out. Like, usually I'm very stable, very normal. Last night I freaked out. I, I w read the news, which I hadn't read in days, and all these people Don't are killing it. each other. Don't go there. And I freaked out. So luckily I had to call my boyfriend. He had to kind of talk me down. And then my daughter sent me pictures of baby animals, which always helps. So <laughs> it's actually these pictures of baby animals or my boyfriend and I singing together, doing duets. Those are the things that calm me down. I've always wanted to ask this. This is something that's fascinating. To talk to both of you is pretty incredible because I watched so many of your films growing up, probably before I wasn't supposed to see them, like <laughs> Lost Highway and films like There's Something About Mary and True Romance, probably at a younger age. But Matt, uh, speaking of the private investigator element of the show, you played a, a great private investigator in There's Something About Mary about 25 years ago. And I remember seeing that movie with my mom when I was 14 and going, this feels a little uncomfortable to watch <laughs> with my parents at that age. So t for the actors who I watched growing up, were there films that you watched with your family that you weren't supposed to at a younger age? Do you have memories of those at all? In general, when you look at what life was like, and the things, I mean, look at the TV shows, look at the sitcoms that would have gotten canceled today mm -hmm. because they were so oh, yeah. politically incorrect, you know? But, um, you know, I, yeah, I, I did see stuff like that. I remember it was always a big deal if there was like, you know, I remember going to the movie theater and seeing like some movie, Burt Reynolds was in White Lightning. We didn't have a lot of money, so we didn't have cable. I mean, I was like, probably 10, 11, 12 when Z Channel and the first cable well, things came on. Yeah. My friend's family had them. So I did see things at their house that were like, whoa, yeah. you should not be seeing that at all. You Flipper. Know? But the my mom, <laughs> on the other hand, I was just watching TV at my parents, you know, or um, my mom would take us to movies which would maybe be more adult than people would think, like, we saw the man who would be king, like in a matinee with Jabberwocky and then watch them all again. So that's <laughs> a weird movie, the man who would sure. be king. Like at the end, it's like they're playing ball with his head. I mean, that's weird, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. 
All right, that is High Desert. The uh, first three episodes premiere this Wednesday on Apple TV+. Plus. Real quick, uh, Holly, uh, a movie you saw? And an, a, I don't remember one that I saw that was inappropriate, but I do remember being a bad parent and allowing my <laughs> son to see Vacation. Okay. <laughs> I didn't remember it was in, as inappropriate as it was. Yeah. And, yeah. Mine was Tango and Cash. I remember seeing that way too young and going, what? Uh, <laughs> Do you about you? American Pie. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. American Pie. There's something about Mary with my mom was not <laughs> yeah. a great experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let no, us know yours. Hashtag Good Day DC. High Desert out on Wednesday. Nice. All right, Kev, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys.